Alright, y'all, I'm back with another video. This is a little different. It's a little vlog, man. I know I ain't. You know I haven't vlogged in a minute. You know I haven't vlogged. It's, well, I feel like every time I was saying vlog, like a bunch of spit was just showing. I don't know. Anyway, I know I haven't just did a regular vlog in a minute. Oh, my God. The cheeks on that woman. Anyway. I know I haven't vlogged in a minute. Um, just a little personal vlog. But I just want to, uh, I was thinking, because um, people have been leaving comments like, in the comment section. And like, my subscribers, the people that love me, people that support me, the people that pay attention, have been answering the questions. And y'all, that means so much to me that I don't have to reply to those type of comments. Or just, if you see somebody comment something, and you know the answer to it, please, I, I, I am begging y'all, please reply to those people because I'm telling you, it just saves me a lot of time and it shows me that there's people that actually subscribe to me that pays close attention to what's going on. That's why in all my videos, I, um, I'm very, um, I feel like I'm very detailed with like information. You know, I don't know, mate, if I don't, Listen, if I'm not, um, if I'm not, uh, if I'm not, um, okay. if I'm not being detailed enough in my videos, please, uh, please let me know because honestly, I thought I was, I'm not going to lie. I thought, I honestly thought that I make some of the most detailed videos as a YouTuber, you know what I'm saying? As a dog breeder, as a YouTuber, I feel like I make the most detailed videos really out here, okay? I just That's how I feel, that's how I'm feeling. If I'm wrong, let me know, because I don't mind, um, I don't mind letting you guys know what's going on. I don't hide anything from y'all, I show y'all everything. But anyway, this video was just, um, a little vlog. I'm picking up some ground turkey. I got some shrimp that I already got sitting in some cold water, ice water, and I'm gonna make me some shrimp turkey cheese dip. You know what I'm saying? Nachos. I don't know how y'all call it. Some people call it nachos. Some people call it cheese dip. Some people just simply call it rotel. Um, I don't know why people call it rotel. To me, that makes zero sense. Okay, because rotel is a thing. All right, rotel is just salsa. And that's the actual name. It's called Rotel. I will show you guys that in a second. It's called Rotel. So calling cheese dip Rotel is weird. It's not just Rotel. Rotel is a, a can. You know what I'm saying? It's a can of salsa. So if you eating Rotel, you just eating regular salsa. Who eats regular salsa by itself? I'm not sure if you're that weird or not. But, um, bro, y'all, bro, check these out. These used to be two fifty, bro. They went up a whole dollar, bro. If you ain't add more meat to this or more potatoes to this, I ain't buying. Okay, I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy just this time, only because I'm telling y'all. Only reason I'm buying this is because uh, I'm only gonna buy one. I was gonna buy two. I'm only gonna buy one of those, and then I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna buy this. I'm only reason I'm buying it. Okay, I'm gonna buy one more. I'm, I'm about two more. I'm about two more. Okay, I'm, really, I'm not gonna buy no more because they not gonna be getting over on me. But anyway, um, only reason I forgot what I was talking about. That's what happened when you got so much going on in your head. Oh yeah, I forgot I gotta get these too. Hey, if you ain't on these, I've been on these since a kid. Like my homeboy Ron, y'all probably know him as Rich Porter or Talk as Rich. His grandma used to buy these all the time. My mama never bought stuff like this because my sister used to eat it up. And I never got a chance to get, like, I don't get a chance to eat food and snacks and stuff at my mama house because my sister, um, she's a very social butterfly. And when you're a social butterfly and you grew up in the hood, you got to know what's going on. So you put that together and uh, you come up with whatever you want to come up with. But my sister always had people at the house. I, I was outside, but um, my sister would always have people at the house. So, with that being said, 
By the time I got home, the food gone. By the time I got home, the food is gone. There's no more food for EJ. And my mom, she would, uh, my mom, she would be, you know, working and doing what she's doing or whatever she had going on at the time. Um, who knows? So it was nothing she could really do about it, but just buy more food. You know, sometimes she didn't have it, so. Uh, I would end up having to do the same thing they did, my sister friends did to me. And that is going to somebody's house to go get something to eat. So that happened a lot. Yo, check this out. So. White meat, chicken fritters with a, listen, bro, I bought these. Okay, I'm not gonna, okay, I don't wanna lie to y'all. Okay, 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 okay. Maybe I bought these. Here we go, here we go. These right here. You see how it's showing, y'all see how you can see like meat in it? When I tell y'all, I went to the house, I air fried it. You know, I had the sauce all warm, whipping up in my little sauce bowl because I actually bought a sauce bowl because I actually enjoy um, wings, you know, making them at home, especially when Silver was at the house. She used to make them all the time, so we we had that. But it was no meat. It was like, there was no meat in it for it. It was like some white stuff. Like, it wasn't chicken. It wasn't meat. So, um, I advise y'all, whoever watching this video, I advise you not to ever buy that. Uh, it's something else I need to get. Okay, it's a lot, it's a couple, it's a couple, a few things else I need to get. I'm gonna make some cheese of y'all. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna take y'all with me, you know what I'm saying, with that too. So, y'all gonna see me whip it up. I'm not no chef, so don't get on here thinking you're gonna see some type of chef activity. But what you, you are going to see, um, me do what I do. Cause I don't really eat out a lot, you know what I'm saying? The only time I eat out a lot is when uh, Silver was around. Cause you know, she would wanna go out to eat and stuff. So I would do that because I enjoy making people happy around me. And that definitely put a smile on her face. She enjoyed, she enjoyed that a lot. So um, that's something that I did more. So now that nobody's home with me, nobody's in my house, I stay in a three bedroom house with $2,000 rent a month. And it's just me. Crazy. 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 Ooh. I don't, I, I don't should be questioning myself like, bro, how are you able to afford this? I be having to ask myself, they're like, bro, how are you able to afford this? And, um, you know, we just make stuff happen, man. That's why I get up every day. I handle my business. Can I get through here? I need to get through here. Thank you. Appreciate it. So, um, let's get up every day and I do the stuff that I need to do. So, I want some chips. And these chips right here got all the stuff all right. So, we're gonna get this one. Yes, sir. Um, so yeah. I don't know. Like I told y'all on previous videos, all you gotta do is get up and do something every day. And, um, you are, you will be able to live how you want to live. Honestly, I'm not, I know it sounds cliche and all that type of stuff, but it's very, it's, it's complete truth. Like, you get up every day and you do the things you need to do, something that you believe in, something that you, uh, something that you love, um, the money will come later. I was doing this dog stuff for two or three years without receiving a single penny from a puppy. Literally, I didn't make one dollar from a puppy because I've never had puppies before. This is my first year ever having puppies. And I've been doing this vlogging. I've been taking care of my dogs for years. For years, not just months. I ain't go get adult feet. You know, I could have, when I got adult female, then pay the stuff fee and boom, I would have been in the game faster. I'm not advising that what I did was the right way. I'm just telling y'all what I did personally. So two years, two, three, really five years. Really four years of not making, you know, when I bought dogs, four years of not making a single penny from a puppy. So this is my first year for real. So, um, imagine doing something for three plus years and not receiving any type of money, any type of, any financial benefit for it, just because that's what you love to do. And um, 
now y'all are y'all are able to see the outcome of, of uh, those investments and i know uh I know it's kind of nice to watch, man. I'm actually living a great life. Not the best life I want to live. I'm not done yet. I'm still working hard. But I can honestly say I'm so much further than where I used to be. Like, I'm so much further. Like, man, y'all know. So much further. And I just, all I did was I invested in myself. And, uh, I worked at it every day, and I was doing the right thing. I didn't mess nobody over it. I don't owe nobody anything. I honestly did the right thing. Every dog I bought, I paid for them, I paid for them in full with the papers. It wasn't no situation where I um, could pay this much now and get the papers later. I didn't have that option early on. Um, yeah, well, I didn't even know, but well, no. Nah, they weren't even, that wasn't even an option when I bought my dog. Like, that was never even something that was mentioned or, or anything. So I've definitely, definitely made it work, made it very accessible to get into this dog game and start to grow your life with the dog before you get your papers. And that's something um, I don't regret because I made a lot of people happy, a lot of families happy. Um, so that means a lot to me because I tell y'all all the time or I tell everybody this all the time, Blessings always come back if you're giving them out. That's how it go. If you're doing the right thing, you're doing right by people, you're going to receive tenfold of, of, of what you do. Because this, this life is about spreading love and having great intentions, you know what I'm saying? And I just have really good intentions on the things that I do. And I, I move with love. I don't have no type of malice behind nothing I do. When people do things like weird, to me or against me, it literally, physically, mentally breaks my heart because I would have never even thought. Are you good, brother? I would have never even thought. It doesn't even come in my head to get over on somebody or do something negative or spiteful. Like, I don't even think about though. I don't have those type of thoughts. I honestly don't even think about, man, I could do this to such and such, or I could do this, or I could get on the internet and say this. I don't even think about that type of stuff. I don't post negative stuff. I don't talk about people. You know what I'm I don't really do that type of stuff, bro. I don't even think about doing that type of stuff. It's just not my character. I'm not saying I'm no angel or nothing like that, but man, I'm still human, but man, I'm actually a great person for real in real life. I'm just saying that. And everything, um, Everything around me, the people that be around me, and my family all feel the same way about me. That's one thing you can say something about yourself, but when everybody else says the same thing that you, like how you feel about yourself, everybody's saying the same thing, you got to know that, um, that it's real, you know what I'm saying? It's really real. Anyway, back to my, uh, my shopping, man. I've been walking around, and the cheese used to be in another area. But now they didn't put the, and the Rotel used to be in another area too, but they didn't put the Rotel and the cheese right here together. So check this out. This is Rotel. So you call and what cheese the Rotel is weird. It's very weird, you do what you want, but it's weird. Cause if you're eating Rotel, you're just eating this. Because Rotel, you're just eating this. If you're eating Rotel, you're just eating this. And if you're eating cheese, let me you to put this, with this, you know what I'm saying? You didn't put this with this. Okay, understand that. It's very, very different. All right, so since it's just me, uh, since it's just me, I'm still gonna get the big one because I can always use it later. And I'm, a lot of people use the regular Rotel, but I'm gonna use the, the fire roasted. I feel like that might just taste a little bit better like as far as flavor. All right, so I'm show y'all what I got in my basket. I have hot pocket, hot pocket, top tarts, Velveeta, this, big old bag of chips, got some peanut butter jelly sandwiches, a couple of meals just to, you know, throw in a microwave, and I got ground turkey. Um, I try, I, only reason I'm eating ground turkey, don't think I'm one of those people that like, 
I think I'm one of those people that uh, don't eat ground beef because that's not the case. It's literally, I had a big old steak yesterday. So to double up on beef two days in a row, it's just not my thing. Oh uh, yeah, my bad, man. I started cooking, I was on the phone. Couldn't even record because people kept calling my phone. So cheese dipping out of turkey. Turkey beef, or well, not, not damn turkey beef, but turkey meat, you know. Throw that shrimp in there real quick. You know what I'm talking about? Throw that shrimp in there real quick. Y'all won't believe what I did, bro. Tell me why I forgot the chips, bro. But I did have some chips left over. From last time, I'm, uh, I had some cheese dip. But yeah, that's it right there, y'all. Yes, sir. That's it. Let me see. I stole that chicken from Walmart too, man. It ain't my fault, it's the system. They need to create a better system. People shouldn't have to scan and bag their own stuff up. Mm. Walmart should start being cheap and pay them for $25 an hour, $20 an hour to stand up and scan them groceries. They'll, they'll save more money. They'll save more money paying them folks. Because anybody over there scanning ain't scanning everything. You got to know what's going on. Oh, uh, y'all. See, get this cheese dip right here. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I need a space. A corn space. Hold on. Hold on. Uh. There we go. Let that sit over there. You know, I'd be dripping down like that. Let that sit over there. I also got some chicken. I already ate one leg. Yes, sir. Mm. There's something about people eating and chewing and stuff that uh, people like, so. I'm gonna chew a little bit on spring. Mmm. Oh, God. All right. Best thing on this? This is chicken. As far as the shrimp cheese up. I'm gonna it's incredible. Alright. Mm, mm mm. It's incredible. Alright y'all, so catch y'all on the next uh, video. This is small little vlog. Love y'all, bye bye.